Hey, this is Michael with Digital T-Shirt Shop, but today I'm not talking about T-Shirts. So I like talking about T-Shirts, but today we're not talking about T-Shirts. I wanted to talk briefly about something that's kind of been sitting on my mind. Um, and what it was, was I uh, had a young man come to me and talk to me the other day, uh, a past employee about uh, some stuff that was going on in his life. In the midst of the discussion, he told me that he didn't feel as though he could trust his father enough to talk to his father. Now, this could be kind of two ways. This could be he's just simply scared. It could be that his father has expressed things in ways that he really does fear to express these feelings and this situation to his father. And then it could also be that possibly him and his father have never developed this type of a relationship and communication. Um, but I kind of felt bad for his dad. Uh, I felt bad that this young man didn't trust his dad enough that he could come and talk to his father. Um... As I have had children, I've got a biological daughter and two sons that I've adopted, and I love them to death, love them all equally. Um, and sometimes I feel like those feelings are so deep I can't describe them. Um, you know, I try to spend time with them. I try to spend time talking to them. I try to spend time answering their questions and loving them and and hugging them and and making sure that they feel that there's a bond there that they can come and communicate with me and try not to get too mad when I get mad sometimes but try to not to get too mad that uh you know they don't feel that they can come and talk to me and feel like you know if I if I develop the communication with them that hopefully when the things get really bad and really difficult that they'll feel like they can come and talk to me um you know and i you know it's hard to say you you, you hear a situation like this and you have, you you looking at this young man's perspective from it and chances are his father really does love this young man and this father really does uh want to help him and want to be part of his life and wants to be uh compassionate and caring in this particular situation but that communication just happens to not be there then again it could be that <laughs> dad really really would get mad um uh but either way i i guess i guess i've just thought about it a whole lot because i felt it, it would be so terrible to feel like your child couldn't come and talk to you and you felt like you had put up a wall or a barrier in such a way that they, you felt like you couldn't discuss that. And honestly, me growing up, I've done so many horrible things in my life, made so many poor choices. I don't know that my kids could really do anything worse than, or as they could do things worse than what I've done, but they, you know, you, you realize there really isn't anything that they couldn't come talk to you about that you wouldn't understand it, at least on some level. You know, that the, the, there would be an understanding. Maybe there might be some embarrassment, but really, um, there really shouldn't be. There shouldn't be anything you can't talk about. It's life. Everybody experiences life. Everybody makes poor choices. Everybody, um, you know, doesn't live up to, you know, what mom and dad dreamt they would grow up and be, you know, um, you know, we all have successes, we all have failures, and I and I really feel as though we all should be able to support each other through those good times and those bad times, uh, through the, the times they achieve their dreams and the times that they fail miserably at those dreams, um, whether they live up to your expectations or they don't, you know, whether they become the person you hoped they would be or whether they didn't. Um, you know, and I would hope, I guess, I guess I think about myself and I, I, you know, my kids are still young. When my kids get to that age, can I still express that enough? And can I still be loving enough? Can I still be compassionate enough? 
compassionate enough that I can love them no matter what and that I can keep that channel of communication open no matter what um, I just guess I was just thinking about that today I, I and, and for the last few weeks I've been thinking about it and and uh, you know this young man I hope he I hope he realizes that his father may not be as difficult to talk about with this about this as he thinks that it would be and his father may just surprise him uh, and be compassionate and understanding uh, with his situation uh, likewise I would hope that when the day comes that I would equally be compassionate and understanding of my children no matter what it is um, I guess I was just thinking about that a lot. It's a, a wonderful experience to be a dad and a father. I, I think it's uh, one of the most fulfilling um, and one of the most rewarding things that there is. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I thoroughly love it. And I'm thoroughly grateful for the opportunity to have the children that I have. Uh, and to be their dad and their father. So uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. Take it for what it is. Um, you know, if you're a father out there, I'd encourage you to be loving and understanding with your children. Um, don't be afraid to talk to them. Don't be afraid to open that channel of communication. If you haven't done it, well, start to do it. Um, you know, it's uh, I, I, yeah. a lot of things to talk about. It's a lot of things to talk about in life. So um, I think one of the greatest tragedies that there could be is missing out on those discussions and those conversations, not being part of them, uh, not being able to help lift and raise those kids up. So there you go. Uh, have fun. Have a great day.